Right, yeah. and now we're live. Way. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, no, we definitely need a theme tune for next time to like kind of like ease this in. I could yeah. tune in a video of some really cool music, but um, any ideas? I am now shit in a brick. I like this all that. <laughs> um. We'll have I, no music. We'll just be amazing as it is. I'm I'll sure. I'll get my xylophone out and just and just, just come it's up. Amazingly and awkward and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, welcome to the Game Perspective team here, and we're going to be doing our first ever podcast. Hey. Hey. Um, so we'll run through the team, and everyone can introduce themselves, and then we'll take it from there. So we'll start with uh, Amy. Introduce yourself. Oh right. Um, well, <laughs> well, A is the beginning of the alphabet, and my name is Amy. And oh, you may know me. No, shut up, you Joe. <laughs> you may know me for babbling blackness. Otherwise, I am the co-editor of the site with Tony, and now I will hand you over to Joe. Oh, uh, yeah, I had to pick me, didn't you? I am Joe. <laughs> um, I'm a content writer on the site, and I'm also based in London, uh, which is much better than Manchester or basically any other place there is in England. Oh, no. Oh. But... You know, most of us are based in England, but I will hand you over now to the one person who isn't, and that is Carly. Well, hello, I'm Carly, and uh, I'm the only non-British uh, person here. I'm from America, Puerto Rico, and I'm a writer on the uh, writer on the side. And well, it's fun hanging out with all the British people and seeing them t- uh, talking shit about <laughs> the other regions they live to, and that doesn't really mean anything to me. <laughs> so I'm going to hand you over to Marcus, my friend. How's it going? I'm Marcus. I am. A fellow Geordie like my Tony over there. I'm quite nervous right now. It's my first time on the podcast. <laughs> um, I've been writing for Game Perspective since the beginning, and that's pretty much it. Now I'll hand it over to the other Geordie, well, um, Tony. And I'm Tony, and I'm founder and co editor of this site. Um, we've been running since September now, and we're doing pretty well. So we thought we'd join the podcast revolution a little bit late. Um, and we just thought we'd cover a few points and see what goes on. So, yeah, I'm from Newcastle as well. And Can I point out I'm from Manchester and I was on the site at the beginning too? Meh, no one cares about Manchester. <laughs> yeah, is is this a podcast <laughs> about gaming or a podcast about uh, which uh, place in England is better? Oh, I'm sorry. Everyone said where they were from. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, Tony. You, you said very you loudly where you were from. <laughs> anyway, games. Anyway, game. yes. Yeah. Anyway, games is going to be a phrase we use a lot in this entire conversation. Yeah, I've got a feeling that is. I'm looking for digressing again. Uh, so what's everyone been playing, playing lately? There we go, Mark. There we go. That's exactly what I want to say. Thank Don't you, Mark. You can start again. What you've been playing lately? Oh, we know what I've been playing. Yeah, Carly you knows what I've been talking like. about it. She, she's <laughs> begging me to play it with her, and I will play it with you. Um. Well, actually, I've been playing a lot of games just lately, but uh, last night it was Journey, and yes, I know everyone must be thinking, why are you playing it now? Like, it I, came bl- out- I think that very loudly, because it's been over, a- that was in 2012, it was the best game of the year, how is it that you're playing this now? Um, I, I have, probably, I have to admit, I'm not as big of a gamer back then, like, I know it's over two years, but not big of a gamer back then as I am now. I suppose that's probably to play with it. And I didn't really look up our gaming news as much as I do now. I think those are my reasons, and I think they're very valid. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not valid at all, but, you know. But <laughs> if you haven't played it, I would highly recommend it. It is, oh, it's, it's a God. Game. It was I'm so I'm pretty sure emotional. you're the only person left without playing it. Okay. Thank you. I haven't, but I haven't got PS3. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played yeah. it either. You know me. We should both buy PS3s just to play this game. Okay, let's pick on the Jardies. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, since they're not playing Journey right now, Tony, what are you playing? Um, well, I'm going through the games I haven't played yet because there's now on PC at the moment. Um, so lately I've been completing Darkness 2, which was um, uh, pretty interesting. It wasn't the greatest game. Um, and been very disappointed by Seven Days to Die, uh, but we're going to cover that later <laughs> on, why that's a rubbish game. Um, and also just playing a little bit of Call of Duty Ghosts and a bit of FIFA and Forza on the Xbox One, so it actually gets turned on, because it's getting turned on once a week at the moment, maybe, if that. Um, yes, yeah, so I think that tears about as much as I can for that. 
<laughs> so yeah, I just played all the rubbish games I bought on the Steam sales, wasted lots of money on and haven't had a chance to play yet. So that's what I've been doing. And we'll hand over to Mark then, what you've been playing. I forgot all night. <laughs> uh, I recently picked up an Xbox One uh, last Friday. So with that, I got Dead Rising 3, Forza 5, and I just picked up Rise of Day, Son of Rome. So I'm in the middle of playing all them off of that. And on my PS4, Christ, I don't see it's a long list, believe us. <laughs> I'm playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Assassin's Creed 4. I love Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I approve. That's brilliant. Need for Speed Rivals. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts, Battlefield 4, and then PS3, because I've got about 150 games of them on played. Mass Effect 3 is probably taking up most of my time. Good job. Goodbye. Yeah. Mm. We approve. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't think he's approved of the Xbox One, because well, you know, I've had so you much know, we, sorry, You know, our home. friend, we have a friend that's not on, this, on the game respective team, but he very loudly disapproves of your decision of buying an x Bone. <laughs> I wish I was there to hear the rant. Oh, <laughs> well, a, my, my favorite was when he hoped that uh, the Xbox exploded, or <laughs> when he tried from the call to tell the Xbox to uh, go offline, <laughs> but it didn't work. <laughs> Anyway, Joe, what are you playing? Um, I'm playing a lot of... Well, I mean, I say I'm playing it right now, but I've been playing Dota 2 almost religiously for the last six or seven months. Uh, yeah, starting in summer last year. It's it's a massive time sink. But I mean, it sounds a bit of an obsession. Yeah, 645 hours logged in the last half a year. Wow. So, yeah, it's great. Um, if you're familiar with League of Legends, it's... It's a much better version of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm very familiar with it. Uh, yes, we'll know you are, Carly. <laughs> the only other game I've played a lot of recently is Starbound, which uh, would be familiar to people who've played Terraria before. I really well, I've played want that, Starbound. Yeah. Starbound's next game on the list to get. Let's okay, say, if, if you're looking at early access games, Starbound is the one to get because it is a complete game. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, been getting some good reviews as well when I've it's, been reading up on them. It's, um, it's Terrania was quite good, but I don't think I played it that much. Terraria, I think I sunk... How many hours did I sink into Terraria? Good thing I've got Steam open. 143 hours wow. into Terraria. <coughs> wow. So, and, but I think that was over the course of like two weekends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. That was a, That was a... Party weekend, right there. That was a party weekend. Yeah. That was a no shower <laughs> weekend. <laughs> and you also played uh, The Last of Us multiplayer with us last week, and I we did. just got our ass I crushed. Did, and I absolutely proved to you that I can pick up a game and beat people around the head with it, even if I haven't played it in months. <laughs> yeah, but that was only when you played with us, when we played with other people. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Playing it. Yeah, that, that was embarrassing. Was terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was we were good. horrendous. I think the scariest thing I've ever seen in a game is Amy running up to me with her fist drawn and beating me oh, down dude. while I you... try desperately to fire a gun at her. <laughs> That's scary to that me, That is right? a very scary thing, oh, trust me. Oh, God. Don't even speak that. <laughs> <laughs> that was not meant to be included in this edition. <laughs> Well, I thought we were, were going to take it a little bit down the road and kind of slowly, you know, tear the pieces of that. You mean that show now. how uh, serious you are about multiplayer? Excuse me, but give me credit because I killed them both at the end of The Last of Us at that last game. Yeah. It didn't I owned matter. you both. It didn't matter. That, that wasn't the purpose of that match. The scoreboard had already come up. I you already even, said the game is lost. And you I didn't even shoot you with a gun. I hit, I hit you with a piece of wood. Yeah. I think that was good. Was <laughs> Carly, what are you playing right now? Well... With uh, school starting and work, I hadn't had a lot of time to play, but uh, number one, I finally finished Grand Theft Auto V, like five months after I got the game. Wow, finished that game. And this, I, I don't know, I hear a lot of people love the game. I wasn't that impressed by it, especially the ending. I thought it was, it was boring and kind of just pointless. It didn't have anything exciting. I, I don't know, they're just trying to be so serious about uh, the Grand Theft Auto series and all that stuff. They're not having fun with it. It's not like when you're playing Saints Row, like Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4. I mean, their stories aren't that great, but, but they're hugely entertaining. See, I, I, I would be someone who massively disagrees with you here. Is I'm quite a big Grand Theft Auto fan, and I cannot stand Saints Row. 
I just, I just can't stand. Oh, it. now we have the clash. Saints yeah. Row was awful. I got the free. Absolutely. Free Thank you so much. Yeah. It was absolutely terrible. It's a you guys are crazy. Rubbish. It's a I, game that started. You are crazy. Started off <laughs> taking itself seriously and trying to compete with GTA, yeah. and then it didn't compete with GTA. So they went, you know what? We're just gonna make it wacky. Saints Row 2, awesome. best game in the series. It's but past Saints Row 2. Awesome. Think how, no. No, no, no. Saints Row just, just never took now. itself seriously. No, it never took itself seriously. And I like that. No, I like it. I like it didn't take itself it was, seriously. No, it just it had was fun. At the beginning, but it just got out of hand really quickly. It was just trying to fill the gap that GTA could never fill. It was like, okay, well, GTA is this great open world game, but one thing it lacks is the ability to do whatever you want. Let's just give yeah. them that. And because of that, it just get boring so quickly. It's like, oh, I can do anything. I got can it I just free say... and turned it and deleted it. That's how it was. I it. got like, four free. I didn't want to play it anymore. I got if four free here... of charge with my graphics card, and I still haven't installed it. If anyone here has played Mass Effect Free, ending Saints Row Four, and this is this is actually Carly telling the <laughs> truth. She told me this: play Saints Row Four, and you yes. will you will enjoy it because it will make up for the sadness that I felt last summer from Mass Effect Free. And she was right. So you didn't like the ending of Mass Effect Three. Is there is oh, there God, really God. anyone? I didn't have I didn't have a problem with. It. I didn't have a problem with it either. I thought it was fine. I yeah. uh, haven't yeah. seen the ending yet. Okay, oh, let's yes, not because Mark is having about about the ending then. No, <laughs> yeah, Mark, but, finish, my 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 issue with Grand Theft Auto Five, the world is beautiful. Yeah. And it should be mm -hmm. because apparently it's the most ex expensive uh, video game ever made, but. Uh, with the story, they take a lot of time, like, their satire used to be, like, this really funny, clever kind of stuff. Now it's more like hitting you in the head over and over and over again with a point, especially when they go ranting about the whole game, about how us millennials, uh, either we're uh, lazy, we're always stuck in computer and video games, which I find kind of hypocritical, considering it's a video game and we're kind of the main audience that have been playing their games for years. And it's the whole game going on and on and on. And it just gets on my nerves. See, I didn't, I didn't feel that at all. I, I felt like it was giving a really good depiction of a living and breathing world. Yeah, like, yeah but they, go, they go on every character rant. Was, it wasn't a rant, though. That's the thing. Is, is every character was, was real. You could imagine them taken out of the game and placed in real life, and you'd go, yeah, uh, that is definitely a person. I, I would say that for most of them, except Trevor. And Trevor's very. Uh, Trevor's probably the exception to all of this, yeah. Which and he's the one that I actually genuinely liked because oh, he's Trevor. the crazy one that that accent, oh, uh, that, <laughs> that, that is the character you play in a Grand Theft Auto game, but especially later in the game. Treble, Trevor and Michael specifically, not so much Franklin, which is, it, Franklin's kind of useless, he doesn't really oh, do... Franklin bored me. He really yeah, did. he's completely boring. The, the only the only thing that's interesting when he's uh, fighting with, with Lamar and they go on the nigger thing over and over again, and I had never seen a video Jesus, game. The, the rating of the on... podcast just went way up. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> podcast. Jesus. Um, <laughs> the N-word. Uh... <laughs> over and over. I thought I thought that was incredibly hilarious, especially the first time Lamar says it, but he does this uh, sing, singy voice. And just the N word like for ten seconds. Honestly, yeah, I, I, that was awesome. Honestly, though, I'm I'm deeply surprised that um, Michael, the character of Michael in GTA Five, didn't win any awards last year because I honestly thought he was one of the best video game characters I have ever seen, played as, experienced at all. But no, I, 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 I don't. I really. I, really, I, I, I thought he was okay. I, Really didn't see anything special about him. Oh, I really liked Michael. I thought the Isn't thing that was okay. special about him was that he was just he was a normal person. I'm sorry, but Franklin bored the hell out of me. Oh yeah, Franklin I think he's the so worst. Boring. I'm sorry, he's, he's, the, he's an okay character, but I don't think he's the best out of the three. No, because he's a normal guy. He's he, it's not really a character yeah, even, that you play as. Even normal guys can be brilliant characters, but he just bores me to death. <laughs> I mean that he doesn't have the demons and the things that Michael and Trevor have. He's just there. Yeah. yeah. yeah His I purpose agree. seemed to 
keep a balance between Michael and Trevor. That's his basically purpose, his purpose. His role in the game seemed to be this is where the the audience, the players, kind of come in. Like they don't know the history of Trevor or Michael, and he's kind of uh, observing and learning about it at the same time as the player is. Yeah. But he that quickly got completely overshadowed by the fact that Trevor and Michael had this great story and you have three playable characters, and then one of them has nothing to do with all of the interesting stuff. So it's like, oh, right, okay. These entry-level characters work very well when they're the, they're the only character, but when you have three playable characters and one just kind of is not included in the slightest, it, they're, just, they're filling a gap that doesn't need to be there. I think um, it's a fair point. I mean... To be fair, the three characters, I don't know if it was a bit of a gimmick anyway. I've, I didn't think it was random as what the game made out at the beginning. Mm. Um, you quite often just go to them and they'd be walking out of a shop for no reason or whatever. Um, but at the end of it, Trevor, I actually hated him when he first came on. Uh, but by the oh, end of it, I couldn't do without Trevor. I thought he was one of the best characters in the game. And there was no big... spoilers, please. Yeah. The... No, because please, please. It, 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 not it's spoiler. not really anything special. No. It's not like this is a massive like plot twist ending or something. Like that. It's completely stupid. It they don't really thing. do anything. No, oh, okay. Apple was my game of the year last year easily. Um, <laughs> primarily because of the way the world was, it just was such an immersive, brilliant world that when you're flying across the skies or standing on top of a hilltop, you actually almost yeah. believed you were there, and <laughs> you were impacting on that city below you. Yeah, Santos was beautiful to look at. Yeah, it's not the only good thing I've got to say about that game. To be fair, I do think Rockstar have got a lot, you know, a lot of expectation for the next game for GTA. Well, I think this is this is what crippled Grand Theft Auto V more than anything. I mean, it would have been everyone's game of the year had it not come with all of the expectations of the previous game plus everything you wanted to make that better. Yeah, and Rockstar are like, sorry to say, Saints Row just doesn't add up to no. the the monument that is. Um, GTA. Well, I, I mean, you can prefer one, you can prefer the other one, but one is all the way up there on the mountaintop, and the other one is somewhere in the complete, completely but I, different. I'm, but I'm talking about the series in general. I'm talking about their recent games. Because hmm. I'm, not, I'm never going to put the, the, the Saints Row series over the Grand Theft Auto series. I'm just talking about their two recent yeah. games. Grand Theft Auto 4, I hated that game. There was nothing fun about oh, that game. Yeah. It was not quite dull. It was quite dull. The, the, the story, the story was. Uh, I, that's, I will say the story in Grand Theft Auto V is a huge improvement on Four. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I like playing Four. I made my own fun around most corners, but in GTA V, you have the option to to make your own enjoyment through so many different means. But at the same time, you've got a story that you can keep coming back to that is actually interesting enough for you to keep going to each mission as it pops up. Well, I found it interesting. I didn't find it all that interesting. One of the, the ways I know I really enjoy enjoy a game is that I can never put it down and I'm going to play it the whole way through without like having uh, lapses where I'm playing something else. And I, I never felt that with Grand Theft Auto V. One of the reasons why it took me so long to finish is because I got bored eventually. I would stop playing it for a while and play something else and then go back and play it. Then I got bored again and then play it again. It, just, it, it never managed to completely uh, uh, satisfy me in, in a way that I would want to play because it's a massive game. It mm -hmm. takes a long time. And mm -hmm. it never got me to what I wanted to be invested enough to just uh, do it the whole way through. You just, you just brought up something good, so I want to change the subject with that, is uh, asking all of you guys, uh, what is one game last year from 2013 that you could not put down? As soon as you started playing it. Christ. Ooh, here we go. Tough question, Amy. We're gonna start with you again. Oh, with the alphabet. Really, really don't know. Um, I mean, I'm just looking. At, I'm actually just glancing at my gaming collection. I'm trying to actually think. Hmm. I don't know. I think. I think Marcus will back me up on this one, but. I think it will be The Walking Dead for the PS Vita. Oh, I could oh, I could not put that down even when we were at Eurogamer in the queues at the hotel. I could not put it down. I know I'd already played it once for the PS3, but my god, that game is built for PS Vita. It really is. It's a brilliant game for Vita. Mark, I just, what you yeah. Agree with that one. 
I would have had to say, I haven't played it since the beta ended, though, but it was Final Fantasy XIV in a Realm Reborn. Oh, I can agree with that. I, I, I definitely put a good month of gameplay into that. I hit the level cap during the beta. That's how much I played it. You couldn't stop playing that, but then again, we were all playing together, weren't we? Yeah, mm. I was playing it day in and day out on the weekend when I wasn't at work. When I was at work, I was leaving it to the last minute to go to work to play it. I, I, I was signing on literally just to stand still and fish. <laughs> that, was, that was how much I liked that game. <laughs> I hate the way I don't like Final Fantasy. I feel like I'm missing out. Um, no, you're not the only. I don't. I don't. I haven't played Final Fantasy fourteen. No. I probably never will either. Marcus? Yes. Are you going to be rejoining for the PS4 one? Because yeah, the, beta, well, the beta goes on next month. Yep. Second um, February, I think it is. Yeah. I hope I there's some big improvements over the PS3 version because it was it was terrible. It's supposed to be sixty frames per second. That's good. I don't know if that's the Xbox One done though. Mm. You hear what they're doing with it, though? What? Obviously, if you buy the PS4 version of the game, disc-based, you can play it on both the PS4 or the PS3. Mm -hmm. But if you just transfer over your data from the PS3 to the PS4, you will no longer be able to play it on the PS3. I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to make new data for the PS4, though. I'd rather, yeah. keep, I'd rather keep separate data. I don't want to transfer it over. I don't see the need. It means you have to buy a new I game. I, I moved from PS3... Uh, having played on PS3 for about a month and moved that to PC since I built my computer um, because I'd already just I was like two levels away from the level cap and I was like I'm not going to start again I can't no I, I can't bring myself to do that <laughs> so what would you say Joe then game you couldn't put down last year <sighs> see this was tough is I put my nominations for game of the year forward before I'd played this game right and Ooh. um because I was kind of late to the party of this game. But it would be Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. I did not stop playing that from start to finish. And then as soon as I finished it, I bought the DLC and I played that through to the end. So you got quite a few hours out of that one then? I got, I got, I can, I can tell you what, I can tell you exactly how many hours I got out of that game. Thank God for I, Steam. I know. <laughs> 48, 48 hours out of that game. That's not a bad going. On it's that one. good for a single player game. I still need to buy it. I really need. To. I'm going to trade in. I played so it think. four times at Eurogamer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I could not put that down. It looks really good, and I am going to trade COD in for it maybe next weekend. I'd say Edward. I'd say Edward Kenway is probably the best version for Ezio. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I I it, agreed. It took me a long time to admit this, but I prefer Edward to Ezio, and, and Ezio uh, has a very, very, very soft spot in my heart. And, and I, I, I'm judging you right now. <laughs> Judge away. I have nothing not to hide. Um, <laughs> we've got to be nice again after the whole racist bit. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Um, I would say the game... I couldn't put down. Um, the most I was logged on any game was Grand Theft Auto 5, actually, at 56 hours. Oh, um, nice. Because I was selling my Xbox a month after it came out. So I had a month to play it. And then I knew I probably wouldn't play it again after that. Um, oh, yeah, I remember you saying about your Xbox. Yeah. So I knew that was going at that point to fund me Xbox One. And I knew I had to play it a lot. And that was probably one of the games I couldn't put down. I was just having a look through my Steam list there. Um... Walking Dead, I played from start to finish. I waited until all five episodes was out. And I even shed a tear at the end of that one. Um, oh, a brilliant, tear. <laughs> brilliant moment. At the end. Just one tear. Soft uh, shade. Yeah. <laughs> hey. It's I'm impossible not. not to. It's, it's very yeah. sad at the end. And even though it I'm is. a hardcore Geordie. Um, it, it, it's, it, it gets to you. It's, yes, it does. Mm. It's, very, it's very sad because <laughs> you do spend a lot of time with these people throughout the, the game. And I haven't bought the second one yet because... I want to wait until all the episodes are out so I can play it solidly again. Um, oh, it's going to be a very painful wait for you then. I know. I well, waited a long time last time, so I'm sure I can do it again. Um, but I would say, looking through my list, I would say Grand Theft Auto, even though it wasn't a perfect game by any stretch of imagination. Grand Theft Auto the would easily have been up there for mine as well, but the, the reason I haven't played much of it and the reason I haven't finished it still, even though I bought it on release day, I was at a launch event for it and I bought it there. Yeah. Uh, the reason I haven't finished it was because uh, 
my playing of the game got interrupted by the fact that I decided to buy a new gaming PC. And the second I bought the PC, I my my Xbox was turned off yeah. from then till now. That's what happens wow. to Xbox. So Will you get um, the PC draw when it comes out? What's that? So, oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. 100%. Have you got Grand Theft Auto 4 on the PC? I have. I haven't played it yet. I You've got to put the, the LC summer PDFR mod on it, uh, which makes you as police rather than criminal. Oh, so you can install really like cool. proper police vehicles from all over the world, and you go to proper jobs, like you'll go to a shooting, you'll go to a riot, you'll go to a drunk driver. That sounds incredible. It's all scripted. Um, so you're just driving along in your car, you'll get a radio call through, and you've got to like, arrest people, you've got to um, chase people down who've been mugged and return their items to them, and that you can install awesome. British police cars, American police cars, any skins you want. Um, there's actually clans where they have proper... I, I wouldn't do this because it's really sad, a little bit sad, but they have proper like, people who do the communications like and dispatch people who are in the server to places. <laughs> I like that. Um, and they have proper like terrorist attacks and a set of terrorist attacks in the airport and it stuff. It's like a proper. fantastic mod. It is fantastic. Yeah, download it. It's free, LCP DFR. Um, it's really quick to install and it just it enhances the game massively. Um, you can. I've got all British cars on mine, so I've got of Ford course. and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Astras and little crappy police cars. And, but you can drive around. It's got all the sirens. You can install custom That's sirens. You can install custom. And this is what I like about PC gaming. There's things like that. It expands the game a little bit. Um, and I think hopefully Grand Theft Auto V will be the same. Grand um, Theft Auto V. I mean, I've already seen the... Have any of you seen the underwater mod for Grand Theft Auto V? Yeah, on the PS3. Yeah. Yeah. How that the hell looks they done hilarious, that? but it looks brilliant. I know I just can't. I can't get over how they've done that though, because I mean, even the sharks come into the AMC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would. I would love to. I mean, I have Grand Theft Auto on Xbox. I would love to play in that modified version because it just looks. It it looks so fun. Joe, get 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 Grand Theft Auto. There's a tsunami mod where the whole map tsunamis on Grand Theft Auto 4 on the PC. Oh. Um, and the water <laughs> levels rise and stuff as you're driving around, and uh, proper waves come in. There's one way you can even be the, a giraffe driving the car, Teletubbies what? with guns. What the hell? Um, this is how you know you've modded the game too much. Yes, when you can be Teletub- <laughs> Teletubbies with guns. Um, and a giraffe as well, so you can just run around the map kicking people as a giraffe. I've done that with, um, I've done that with Skyrim now. Yes. Where the dragons are completely replaced by Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> oh, I've seen that on YouTube. It's I've, so funny. It's got to that point now where the mods aren't there to just make my game more fun. They're just there to make it more ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen it. It's when Alduin attacks. Um, I forgot the first CE and but it's just Thomas the Tank Engine. You just hear the um, horn. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh, I'll try and find the YouTube clip. It's, I'll put it yeah, in the I, it, it's a fantastic. I know the clip you're talking about. It's what convinced me to download the mod. But um, essentially, <laughs> essentially, you're there at the beginning of Skyrim. I assume we've all played Skyrim. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of the game, you get attacked by Alduin, but in, you know how you hear him roar in the distance before he arrives. Yeah. Instead of hearing that roar, all you hear is. <laughs> and, of course, and of course the Skyrim guards say what was that? It's probably nothing <laughs> We could actually stream that I don't know if I should try stream that video in actually uh, That could be a good um, I've got the link I'll send you to it I'll send you it now Cool um, That'd be a good test It would be see if it actually works because this is basically a good test for in future Well I'm on the YouTube video and everything seems to be going fine so far Cool that's good I'm glad it's um I think, Carly, it's left to you now to tell what... Um... Yeah, Carly, go on. What do you want? Uh, well, it, I don't know. It was kind of a weird year because even the games, the game that I think is the game of the year, The Last of Us, wasn't the game that I played over and over again because, uh, honestly, and I'm absolutely terrified of uh, playing the game in any other difficulty that's not easy and deal- dealing with the clickers. I'm just terrified. <laughs> Uh, I, I <laughs> once made a mistake of playing the game uh, really late, and I just got jump scared by a clicker, and I, I, I thought I was, <laughs> was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> they, they scared the living hell out of me. That was a fantastic but game. The, the game that I played, uh, going to put down until I finished it and played a few more times, even though it was when I was uh, starting uni and I had homework and probably a few assignments were uh, put in late because I couldn't put the game down was uh, Saints Row 4. It just, 
Yeah. I absolutely love that game. And you can you can judge, but I, I think it was a, a lot more entertaining than Grand Theft Auto 5. I love it. They don't take themselves uh, too seriously. I love that they just go insanely crazy. I love that I'm the fucking president and that I'm on a ship that's basically a, uh, <laughs> uh, jo uh, uh, this joke about Mass Effect. Then you can just no, click I'm on a person and they have this random romance that's hilarious. I, I love the music. <laughs> I love everything about that game. It's yeah. I played up to about a quarter of the way through, um, and it was free on the PC for a weekend. So I had a weekend to play it completely, nutly un un or, or, I can't even speak. Um, totally free of charge, and I could do what I wanted. There was no caps, and <laughs> I just thought graphically it was maybe PlayStation Two standard, if that. The playability was PlayStation. It was all. It wasn't a terrible game. Sorry. It it um, just wasn't a next gen uh, no, a next gen wasn't. title. It wasn't it. Just, it wasn't a top ten games of the year title that one. No, it just um, was. I understand why people like it because it was silly. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it was. It was fun. There's, there's yeah. no denying it was a fun game. Thank you. I've uh, got the <laughs> Skyrim <laughs> Thompson Tank Engine mod ready to play. This will... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys. I know people. Anyone watching this will see this come up. I well, don't know if the four of you will be able to see it, but Will, well, your microphone. Well, I've got the video open as well. Um, so I don't know if this is going to work. This is a test. It'll mute everyone here, I think. Um, oh. But here we go. Skyrim Thomas the Tank Engine mod. Jesus and I'm going to press play and we'll see what I'm happens. I'm going to watch this. Here we go. I don't know if you've got... You're not muted, Amy. I know. Like, it's so bad. weird. We're the only two not muted. Is the video even coming up yet? I don't know. I've got the video up. Like, the, video's up. Oh, the video's up. It should be anyway. Um, <laughs> say, but, uh, uh, I'm looking at the YouTube page. That it's still uh, us and not video. I think it's it might have accepted to use the app. That's why. It might be a bit behind on the YouTube video. Thomas should be coming in now. I hope. <laughs> if it, if not, this is a really boring four minutes for anyone. I apologise. But... This is this is four minutes of break of our voices for yeah, anyone really... lucky enough to be listening. So you can hear the horn, so it's, he's on his way. Did, did you guys look at the chat on the YouTube page? Amy wrote, "Amy yeah. so awesome." Right, he has Thomas the Tank Engine coming. I think. Can either can any of you see this video? Yeah, I can see it. Cool. Good. 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 Right, I'm gonna shut up now because <laughs> I can't see it. Better. I can't see it either. No, I can't see it either. You've got to open up the YouTube on the left-hand side, and it'll come on. Um, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh my god, that's hilarious. It's on the Isn't best. it just? I really apologise to anyone who's listening to this on a podcast. This won't be working at all. <laughs> You're like, what the hell is that strange Thomas noise? Uh, basically a Skyrim video from YouTube of... Instead of a dragon, a giant Thomas the Tank engine blowing fire everywhere. You can have the link to the, uh, to the video <laughs> put alongside the podcast. Um, but it's good to see it works because we're going to try that more in the future of other things. Um, but yeah, that was uh, Skyrim Tom's Tank Engine mod. 
and that it's seemed to be pretty well, so I'm going to shut that video down and we'll continue with what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so they can hear us again. Yep. <laughs> that was, that, yeah, I love that video. That's why I got that mod, too. That, um, I've got it replaces all the, all the dragons in yeah. the game <laughs> with oh, um, that mod. I love that mod. trains. <laughs> I need to play Skyrim now a bit better. I've just got to play the action. Um, anyway, so moving on from that, um, let's move the topic on since we've seen discussed lots of Grand Theft Auto V. Um, we've done what game we did play the most last year. What about the game we didn't play last year that we wish we had? Um, Amy, can I pick on you again? Oh, yeah. Journey. Um, completely. Ab- That's 2012, so I don't think that would count. Um, Give it to us anyway. Oh, trying to think, trying to think. Yeah, I may give it to us. I've got one if you want to jump in front of you, Amy. <laughs> this is go, on, go ahead if you've got one. Uh, you were talking about it earlier, and it was The Last of Us. I agree. Uh-huh. I agree. I got it day release. I got the special edition. I think I played about two, maybe three hours. I didn't get very far into it, and then I just stopped playing it. It's sitting collecting dust on my shelf. How did you not play that game? I've, yeah, I've only played about two or three hours of it. I, I, I went to uh, a buddy of mine bought the game, even though he didn't have a PS3 because he wanted to play it that badly. <laughs> so I grabbed my PS3, I took it over to his house, and I literally stayed there for six days straight uh, playing wow. that game and playing Dota 2 and doing nothing but that. I'm going to ask, if is that the friend that you still have the Last of Us copy? Um, that is the friend whose copy of The Last of Us I now have. And it's good reason, a good reason I still have it, because he does not have a PS3, so he would be doing nothing with it anyway. It's a good reason. <laughs> good reason. Um, he has a reason for why he hasn't returned the game. <laughs> so, Joe, what about you? Game you didn't play? Um, well, I mean, it's one game that I've heard a lot about, and... I've kind of wanted to play it, but I've never really been pushed to actually do it, and I have no reason to play it myself. But it's the Telltale Games Walking Dead series. I, everyone I know that's played that game has has preached about how magnificent it is. And but I just have I have zero interest in The Walking Dead, but I really want to play the game. I'm not even it's interested in it. It's nothing like the TV series. No. And I don't think you even need to know about the TV series no, or yeah. anything about it. You can just go into that game with no knowledge and fall in love with it. I really think <laughs> I, you can. I, I don't watch the TV show. I don't, I'm not a fan of the series, even the comic book series. And I played the game and it's amazing. It's completely amazing. It did. It did. Fill my heart with joy to hear that they were making a Game of Thrones game and a Borderlands game. Uh, but I don't. I mean, the Game of Thrones one it makes a lot of sense. I don't really Telltale and Borderlands that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I hope it's great. It just it doesn't really fit to me. Mhm. I think um, Joe the Walking Dead is brilliant. Get on the PC in the next Steam sale, you won't regret it. Because I did watch a TV show before playing it, and I loved it. Um, however, there are, there's a new one called Something About a Wolf. I don't know what the beginning of it's called. Uh, the Wolf Among Us. Yeah, Among that, Among that, looks, that looks pretty awesome as well. And Star Wars will hopefully be good when they do that. Um, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to yeah. try it just because it's Telltale. Yeah, exactly, they make some pretty good games. Um, I mean, when when one of these Borderlands or the Game of Thrones or whatever game comes out by them, and I play it inevitably because I'm very interested in Borderlands and Game of Thrones, um, and I love it, which will probably happen. Then I will be coming back to play The Walking Dead without Just, fail. Yeah, get it done. It's fantastic. Uh, Amy, what about you, game wise? Right, yeah, I have thought of one actually now, and um, it's it's just sat there, and I don't know why I've not played it, but um, Dishonored, I'd say. I really don't oh, know why I played yeah, that's it. That's a good one as well. Yeah, oh, because because no, awesome. I've heard so many great things about it, and I saw it in a sale, and I was like, oh, I'll get that. I'll okay, um, see how it is. Crazy. This close to buying it in the Steam sale that just went by, and I didn't. <laughs> uh, I would like to point out that Amy has yet to play Uncharted 2 and 3. Oh, don't. They're even though she cool. has them. Amy. Amy. But if you saw my game collection right now on the shelves, you don't... It's Uncharted Woman. Amy, I guarantee you my collection beats yours, and I've still played them, and I'll still go <laughs> back to them before I play any other game. 
What can I say? I've had a hobby as a uni student I, to collect lots of games. I've had a PS3 <laughs> never, for a long time never now, played and I have touched the Uncharted series. And yeah, <sighs> Joe, Joe and Amy, I mean, you, you need to rectify that immediately. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe, we, 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 we will. We will. The other games I, will, I will play that game, I will play that series from start to end if I can get all four of you in a game of Dota 2. Challenge accepted. <laughs> you need to play. You need to play the Old Republic with me first. Oh, yeah, oh I re-downloaded that the other day. Just yeah, I've got that as well. I've got that on mine. We should. Um, we should. We should all play that. We should. Yes. Yeah, it'd be quite, Dota's, I've got Dota 2 on. Um, I got in the beta and had to wait like seven days to download it or something. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. When I got the <laughs> the invitation on that side of thing, um, <laughs> I did have a PlayStation 3. And I did play Uncharted 2 and 3, and both pretty good games. Um, However, on my Steam list at the moment, I have 256 games. Wow. Um, How many of them have you played? That is the thing. I was thinking that. Because <laughs> um, your list I, is going to be a lot like my list in that yeah. way. <laughs> I've, got about two, I've got about 50 games currently installed on my computer. I would right. say I've currently deleted probably about 30 that I just don't think I'm ever going to play um, or get around to playing. And there's quite a few on there where maybe I played an hour and just <clears> haven't got time to... Like this game, they're called the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. I have no I idea played, what it is. I played that for about 15 minutes. I would not recommend playing any more of it. I haven't even touched it. I, well, <laughs> so, then you're already at an advantage to me. Um, but I've got things on there that I'm sure are very good. Um, but just so many games. I mean, they're just I, all 256 games, and you can never trade them in. I just thought of another one that um, I didn't play last year that was, was a lot of people said great things about it. Uh, it was one of the big releases last year, and I, I have it. I have it in my Steam library, but I haven't downloaded it at all. It is Tomb Raider. Ooh, uh, I, I was deleted that. I, it, I it was never installed. I got it free, never installed it. Mark, that's what you're saying about Tomb Raider. I was this close to buying the new one, the day, the definitive edition. Yes. Mm-hmm. But no, I stopped myself and I bought Rise. Rise looks really good. I do plan on getting that. Um, maybe after Assassin's Creed. But Joe, Tomb Raider is very... I don't describe it. It's not very Tomb Raider-y, I suppose. Um, yeah. Because yeah. there's lots of shooting. in Tomb Raider, so that might actually... Well, I wasn't, and then played this, and there's a lot of... Like, you walk across a bridge, and you'll fall off. Then you'll walk across a cliff and fall off. Then you'll walk across another bridge and fall off. Then well, you'll walk across origin. a platform. It is an origin story. Break. Yeah, it's just like that. It's just everything is about breaking and falling down stuff. <laughs> the amount of good scenes well, I've got to find it how easy she turns from a very, very scared little girl to kill to this, into this warrior. Yes, and all of a sudden she's like, I don't want to kill anyone, and next thing she's... Boom, 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 boom. Killing machine. Basically <laughs> Rambo. A like genocidal a, maniac. 180. The next <laughs> I mean, that, that always made me always made me laugh, the prototype series. Where um, you know you were fighting for the side of good, but around every corner you would just murder a civilian just to get <laughs> just to get a tiny chunk of health back. <laughs> Story and gameplay. Oh, I need to finish prototype. That's that um, was that prototype. was a game for me, like Saints Row. That I would just play for fun and to screw about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how I would describe Tomb Raider is a decent game. It's a good origin story. It's, it doesn't have any replay, replay value at yeah. all. It doesn't have really any memorable characters. <laughs> the story's not memorable at all. We don't even really know what the story was, other than uh, Lara becoming this badass. The actual <laughs> story, I don't remember at all. Yes, Callie, baby. Do you remember, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember the lesbian theory that we had? Oh, yeah. That that's that not a theory. theory. That's canon. <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. Let's be what, honest what here. Was she, what was she called, the girl? Uh, Sarah? I'm going to look it up now. I think it started with Sam. I think it's Sam, actually. Yeah, it is. Sam! Sam! They were holding each other and hugging each other, and I was like, more than friends would usually do. And I like that when Lara goes to the ship, the wreck, and she finds this letter that's kind of like throwing a no, she's straight, no. I was starting to get her into boys, like trying to like bring a balance because it, it had been for most of the game like this really, like they're hinting at they're the more than friends and they're just, like throwing this at the end saying no, they're just friends. They, they're like boys. Maybe that's next Tomb Raider. 
<laughs> find ourselves by having lots maybe of that's people. DLC. Yeah. Lara Croft. Yeah, maybe. Theater. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe she'll raid raid her tomb sometime. <laughs> I'm copywriting it right now. Sorry. Mate. That's the next website up and running. Um, <laughs> but maybe that's what happens. I don't know. I didn't like it, Joe. Um, for me, the game was... If I had a PlayStation 3, it would have been um, probably Last of Us, I would have guessed. Um, yeah. PC yeah. or Xbox-wise, I sort of missed out on... Um, I don't think I missed out much, actually, because I just bought everything that I wanted, really. Um, <laughs> and that's why I'm skint and got no money now. Uh, <laughs> and probably why I'm single as well. <laughs> but never mind. Um... <laughs> Yeah, sort of, sort of got what I wanted. Um, I would say I wish I had a PlayStation 3 for that very reason, Last of Us, because that looked pretty amazing. Um, mm-hmm. I do regret not playing that. Um, um, Uncharted is another reason to get PlayStation 3. Yeah, no, I never know. I might get PlayStation 4 eventually, so if this PlayStation Now comes out and how good it is. Yeah, they sent the beta invites out, but sadly I have not received mine yet. This brings me on to something I wanted to talk about was uh, was the new consoles, PS4 and Xbox One, obviously. I mean, I never said the game <laughs> that I missed out on. <clears throat> Xbox. Oh, oh, yes. Sorry, sorry, Carly, sorry. Go, do it. <laughs> Guys, just because I'm not in England. <laughs> sorry, I know it would be racist again. Don't worry <laughs> about being rude. Just interrupt us. <laughs> Baby, I'll protect you. <laughs> yeah, you'll protect me. Right, what um, was yours? I played, basically I played every single game that I wanted to. I mean, because I usually stay with the games that uh, have uh, good uh, reviews. I don't, I don't, I, I'm, and the money situation isn't all that great that I can be chucking money at every single game that comes out. So either is a game, a sequel to a game that I already played before, or it's Naughty Dog, which I trust them completely in, ma- in making a great game, or is a game they had great reviews. But uh, this one is not exactly a full game, but it did come out in 2013. Uh, season two of The Walking Dead. I still haven't played it, which I'm very ashamed of, but I will soon. And I I, I seen the videos of walkthrough. I think they're great, but I haven't had a chance to play it yet. It's a good show. So that's exactly. You. I'll be getting it soon. Um, when I can play it, but I'm sure one will. of you guys will make me get it soon. I think all of us will make you get it. <laughs> this is how we behave. I mean, you can ask Amy. She'll go, "Oh, I'm not doing this right now," and especially me, I'll keep going on and on and on until she does. I mean, I've been going uh, for months up to her to watch Community. She just started recently, and now she loves it. Say there you go, pandering into the masses' work. I owe you yeah. the favor because you watch Doctor Who. Yeah, but that's not the and only I'm thing I made you watch or play. Because I there's Mass be. Effect, there's Uncharted 3 multiplayer, for example. Let's not, let's you've not got talk Amy about our relationship here. <laughs> We're not talking about this. This is not the focus. <laughs> oh, baby, come on. We People will, will start asking be, questions. Yeah, <laughs> they can ask asking. questions. <laughs> anyway, the questions are now going berserk now. Um, so <laughs> if you want to ask any questions on that, feel free to in the question and answer section on the side. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but can't move it away from game into other things. Um, <laughs> but entertaining things. But entertaining things, yes. Maybe that's for late night uh, Game Inspector podcast where... It's for like late night Hollyoaks, if anyone remembers that. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes I, 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 game perspective it's, after it's, midnight. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Hollyoaks uh, now or something. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. tackled really bad issues, so maybe that could be the next thing where we'll tackle really. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to move on to that. Um, <laughs> anyway, moving the subject really back quickly. Um, since we've talked about the games we liked, how about what the worst game we played last year, the most disappointing game we played last year? Um, um, oh, I, I'm going to say mine, and Amy, I, I'm glad Amy lives in England and I live all the way over here in America because she can't do anything to me. Oh, okay. But uh, <laughs> mine would be beyond, beyond Two Souls. I'm sorry, Amy. It's <laughs> not a good game. It's not a good game at all. I mean, before, before Ellen Page... You, you are Amy. dead to me. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I mean, Ellen Page did a great job. Uh, Willem or Willem the foe, however his name is actually pronounced, also yeah, did a great job. Well, and that was basically, <laughs> oh, and the graphics were pretty. That was really the only good thing I can say about that. I still haven't finished it. I 
like go with the game, and I said, "Oh, I'll be back in it in a week." I was not. It's been months, and I, I don't <laughs> really have that much interest in actually bothering to finish it. I mean, it, it, it just it goes along with the fact that I absolutely despise Heavy Rain. I, right. Yeah. I don't like a uh, Quantic Dream. I think they they talk up about a lot about how uh, sophisticated and all the stuff their games are and they're really not. They're just stupid. Well, they got the voices right this time. I mean, look at Heavy Rain. The fucking accents were all over the place. And, and, and yeah. how much they but fail at uh, actually saying Origami American Killer. Origami Killer. They could not origami say that right. Killer. No one could say that right. <laughs> origami Killer. Yeah, it's, and the uh, sex scenes. If you don't like Heavy Rain, you don't, you're not going to like any of them sort of things, are you really? Mm. I didn't get a chance to play Heavy Rain, um, again, because of lack of PS3. Um, however, it, I don't know, it it seemed good, but again, it's just an interactive story, isn't it? You press a few buttons every so often. There's going to be a film about it. Which I, 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 I'm never going to see. And, and I, I, I thought Heavy Rain film. was good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I thought it was better when I fl- played it, and then I thought about it, the game more and, and more. It, it, it was awful. Awesome. And the sex scene, oh my god. That, that's probably one of the worst things I've ever seen in a video game. And I didn't even do it. I, I, I'm just so offended that that wasn't even an option. <laughs> oh, sex in video games is always awkward. Uh, moving away from sex again. Um, <laughs> how, it's how about you, your second how about you Marcus? This is your what second was the strike. Most God, on truth is I can't think of any. I don't think I've played That's one good. bad game last year. That's good. That means you haven't wasted money like I'm sure me and Joe have. Oh, um, I've wasted money on games, but I just can't think of one bad game I've played. It's very hard to think. Amy, I, how about you? I do have one, actually. I just thought, and Carly would definitely approve of this one. Or maybe the others will. I don't know. Um, Although it wasn't exactly in the release last year, yeah. I played played it mostly last year. Yeah, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm just going to come out and say it. Connor is the worst Assassin's Creed uh, hero ever. So, yeah. Assassin's Creed 3. Definitely. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed, uh, it, I enjoyed as an it. Assassin's, I, I enjoyed it as a standalone game, but not as an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, I played I it. It was an enjoyable experience. Um, His character was so dull. The gameplay was And he was good. so the angry. Was he, might he, have been, he might have been okay if he had a love interest. Like Ezio. And I don't think that was the issue. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, leaving, uh, going after, uh, going after finishing with Ezio, and you have someone like Connor, who's okay. is he's like Franklin in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. That's, it's just there. That it is a good nothing. comparison, actually. Uh, this That's might sound comparison. incredibly racist, but like Franklin, um, Connor, and Jacob from Mass Effect. <laughs> so, uh, we can. Uh, <laughs> Stereo we can have a whole black. podcast about how much Jacob sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yes. but we're not yeah. going to. No, we're not going to. <laughs> no, going to. <laughs> However tempting that would That's be. That's game perspective Ooh, after yeah. dark. Um, <laughs> Joe, what about you? What's the... Well, I mean, game? I could give you a hundred games. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to. Owner of the PC. <laughs> yeah, because, mostly because Steam is terrible and it will make you buy many games <laughs> that aren't even finished yet. Yeah. Um, so under that, I'm not going to count any of them because they're not finished yet. Not that it looks like any of them would be finished in the first place. But of the of real releases on consoles and on PC, and expecting it to be a big release, I would have to go for XCOM De- Declassified The Bureau. Ooh, good choice. Good choice. Again, I was really, really <laughs> looking forward to. I was big, big fan of XCOM Unknown, uh, Enemy Unknown, a big fan of XCOM Enemy Within, and I thought, this this looks great. It's a third-person shooter version of XCOM. It, it's everything I could want it to be, and it was just awful. It's a good shout. I'm glad I haven't bought it then. Uh, for me, it's going to be the game I bought on release date, and that's Aliens Colonial Marines. I was just going to say, Ooh, someone yes. hasn't mentioned Aliens that, yet. I had to. I never uh, played it. I, got I never played it. Don't ever play it. I got for the PC, which means it's worthless now. Um, <laughs> I paid twenty four ninety nine for the privilege. It's the worst game I've ever. It's awful from start to finish. The aliens on scary. The you're fighting people a lot of the time instead of aliens. It's badly rendered. The graphics are off. It's just a terrible game, and that easy ranks as my most disappointing last year. And I bought it on release day for twenty four ninety nine, which hurts the most. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, there was a, a PC game in me, Joe, going to cover this later, maybe. 
Um, but I think we'll probably have a whole podcast dedicated to it ourselves on early access <laughs> games because early access <laughs> games are really annoying me at the moment. Oh, um, don't you, you did, no, 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 no words. <laughs> I've wasted too much money on early access games lately, and it's starting to put me off games a little bit because seeing how broken you are and people are willing to make money from them is really yeah. annoying me. Um, Seven Days to Die, one example, eighteen ninety nine. I paid for that, and there's nothing to do on it. It's oh, that is rubbish. That painful, that is. It is very painful, because I didn't have much money left. It was my last 20 quid, and I thought, oh, you know what, I fancy a game. Um, <laughs> a bit of fun. Played an hour on it. I can't record it, because it runs so slow. I can't put any... I can't window it to play it. I can't do anything, and it's just crap. And 20 quid at the end of the day is a lot of money to a lot of people, and I don't think you should be releasing crap like that on... <laughs> It. Um, but before I get really angry, anyway, um, <laughs> save, that, save that for the after hours. Yeah, part, the after hours, because I'm just swearing constantly. I think um, next gen consoles we're about to cover. Um, Mark, Marcus has got both of them. I've got the Xbox. Joe, what you got? Well, I've got neither of them. You, um, Joe's got neither. So he, <laughs> I, I basically <laughs> wanted to. Uh, I, I've got the PC. I'm the master race. Like, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm already a level ahead of, of most of <laughs> you. You need to catch up. But, um, I've got the PC and the Xbox One. So I'm yeah, sure yeah, you're Xbox definitely winning three. that one. And to be yeah. fair, I've just installed Dota 2. Good, oh, good. good man. I'm, I've just clicked on to install it, and my broadband's so slow, I might have it by next <laughs> week. Um, I think Amy's just got you just got the PlayStation, haven't you, Amy? Yeah. yeah. She's got the PS4, yeah. but she never bloody plays it. I do play it. I play it overnight. Oh. I don't live an out of streaming. You were streaming from the PlayStation. Um, yeah. Didn't the band the stream? I thought the band was streaming on the PlayStation from that people who'd done the homemade porno. Yeah, it was. Um, I think they just banned yeah, was... Playroom. Oh, did which they? Banned you from playing Playroom on oh. uh, streaming Playroom. You stream <laughs> though, you can still do it on stream. Oh, can you? Yeah. Well, that's good. Glad people still make homemade pornos on the PlayStation. Um, yeah. However, the Xbox. I'm the only one here apart from Marcus. I don't know what you think, Marcus, but. The Xbox for me is let down massively by the friends system and the party system at the moment. I find it, I find the user interface very confusing. Yes, yeah, and mm-hmm. it doesn't Marcus quite do what it should do. <laughs> <laughs> and you shout it a lot to turn on and turn off and do. Stuff. <laughs> um, and maybe that's just my Mark's accent. I don't really know. Aye. Um, however. I I even thank my Xbox when it does something I want it to do because it's so surprising. <laughs> I'm like, thank God for that about time. <laughs> Cheers, Xbox. Thanks for uh, snapping too. Um, some of the features are amazing. Um, I'm glad I got it, but I just think the lack of games on the moment uh, keep me from playing it. This is what I wanted to ask uh, you guys with uh, new consoles is, what do you think they actually give us that the old consoles didn't? Well, I can tell you, for one, the PlayStation 4 c- controller is a billion times better than the PS3 controller. Oh, yeah. It's better. Than, it's the best controller out there at the minute. It's better than the Xbox Ones. Do you reckon? I do, yeah. Really? In what way? Uh, oh, God. That's a good question. <laughs> put us on the spot a bit now that I think about it. The triggers, <laughs> are, so, the triggers are so much nicer on the PS- PS4 controller than on the Xbox One. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. Same with LB and RB. I can't stand that. I think the one thing I um, I do like about the Xbox One controller is the vibration in the triggers. Yeah, that's a good feature. That's vibration, good Marcus, really? Vibration? vibration. Oh, God. Really? Oh, shoes. here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Women. <laughs> Jesus. Right, bring it back. Um, yeah, for things like Forza and stuff like that, you can control the power slides because you can feel the vibe when the car's going to lose it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a really good feature of... Um, how it works and stuff like that. The um, big killer for me as well, though, it's still battery operated. It still requires batteries. <laughs> Does the PlayStation one? No, it's um, charge. No, oh, is it so you just charge it all? Yeah, it's, a, it's 2014 USB Xbox. Get with the times. Come on. <laughs> I know why Why we're still using batteries. I did get a plug and play kit, but that's an extra £22 on the already. Exactly. It's just like, all oh, right, you've paid £450 for the console, yeah. you paid £55 for the games. Oh, you want to play in charge? Get us another 20 quid. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. Um, the Xbox overall, for me, I would say I wish I probably hadn't got it. Um, I did have the PlayStation 4 on order. That's uh, called Karma, has- bitch. It is. I just kept my PlayStation 4 order in. Um, I think for the game, my PlayStation 4 is the gaming console. I think the Xbox tries to be a lot more than just a gaming console. Mm-hmm. Um, and because it doesn't do that, the friends list is just 
but inviting people to games is so difficult. Um, it doesn't work half the time. It crashes. You don't know if you're in, you're out. If you're chatting, uh, the invite system just doesn't work. It doesn't tell you when someone comes online. Really? I think it changes out a lot as well. Yeah, 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 definitely. Say, I've got to sign in every five minutes if I'm not playing a game. Yeah, I find that equally really annoying. Um, what do you guys think of the PS4, apart from the controller, is it? Oh, it works really well. Works. I'm um, speechless by its perfection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Mary. Very> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I love the streaming. The streaming is brilliant. Now, I will admit about the streaming. Um, at the beginning, the streaming, it used to cut out all the time, but just a right. few nights ago, I did try the streaming again, and it hasn't cut out, so... Has it? It's brilliant, yeah. It's not cut out at all. I, put, I tried out in just this Scottish yeah. and it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Does it stream the games live? Yes. As you're playing them, right? Okay. Yes. Um, there is about a 10 second to 15 second delay. Yeah. That's not too bad. Can people jump into your games yet, or has that not happened? You know, when people could overtake your game and control without it? having the disc. I haven't tried it yet. Oh yeah, but I, I I don't know I don't know if a lot of the games are, are out there or do have that feature. So that was an interesting feature because I thought if you are stuck on something, it's quite interesting. Um, However, I'd probably be more tempted to ruin the game a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's you, you probably wouldn't be the only, only one. No, There's no. someone else here. They will probably have a lot of enjoyment uh, hey, for doing that I to say someone like me. <laughs> yeah, it's not you, Joe. It's Amy. It is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just <in my> <laughs> this, uh, basically, Marcus and I should never try that with her because she's she's definitely one hundred percent going to ruin the game. She's a troll. Just yes. troll, basically. Yeah. Oh, you you do you know what I mean? I'm just hearing this. I'm just you know. It's a compliment. Like a troll. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm joining the masses on this one. Um, I think that's what people like, especially if you play games like. DZ and stuff like that. People just like to ruin your gaming experience, and I think inviting people in is probably a bad idea. Um, well, that, that is mostly the reason I, I played EVE Online was um, was to ruin people's day. <laughs> yeah, that's all it's about. Um, it's literally, the, uh, I thought, wow, I can actually destroy someone's <laughs> hard-earned progress like with the click of a few buttons and some Months coordination. Of working, hundreds I am of pounds. so playing this game. <laughs> and, uh, did, did you see the massive EVE battle the other day? Ah, did he? I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, wow. it excited me to to great amount. Actually, no, I watched it on Twitch, and the frame rate was atrocious on it. Yeah, I think that's why they sped up on the video I watched. <laughs> has, has any of you played Eve? I um, uh, know Job, our friend Job, uh, he's yeah. the owner yeah, of TLS. He, he's he's up, been begging and begging for us to play with him because and we're just oh like, my no. god, space money, <laughs> space battles. <laughs> If you it haven't is... played Eve, the battles in it, like even if it's just my key, my laptop can't handle it. If it is one person against another person, they are so tense. Are they? So they are they're extremely tense, and because you risk everything in in that fight, it's like when you are, when your ship is destroyed, your it's ship destroyed. is destroyed. Yeah, I've heard some tight. Any modifications, any time you put into it, any money you put into it. All goes down when it's blown up, and so these battles um, they're a re they're a really big deal. And you've probably seen the figure like two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff was blown up. <laughs> I think it's amazing. It's not the first time. Remember that big one where there was a corporation who was ruling everything, so everyone else just thought, "Screw you, we'll take yeah. it off." I did try and play it, but I destroyed a box, and it wouldn't let me play it in the box. A box. A box. That's the best way I can describe it. It was a floating box. I destroyed it by mistake by pressing the wrong button. It wouldn't spawn it back. <laughs> so basically, in the tutorial, it wouldn't let me move on, and that was, for me, the end of Eve. Um, uh, yeah, the tutorial is completely 100% um, optional anyway. Yeah, I should have skipped it. Maybe it is a good but, game. It does yeah. give you give you some things to help you start out. So I can see yeah. why, without the tutorial, you'd be kind of like, uh... <laughs> it's pretty much free to play though, and I think um, free to play seems to be I, I the in thing at the moment. Not free to play. I would like having played it for quite a few months. I would argue <laughs> that game's not free to play. Um, I've seen the starter packs, um, and I didn't really. I did download a game on Steam. I can't remember what it was called, but it was free to play. But to get all the things you wanted on it was $89.99. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Path of Exile. Yeah, I think it was right. something like that. Yeah, it was. 
like Path of Exile is a free to play game a lot like uh, Diablo or Baldur's Gate if you play Baldur's Gate um, which is free to play on Steam now but if you wanted to buy all the extra stuff and some people would say the the stuff that makes the game complete then it costs a huge amount of money it's ridiculous. Um, free to play is coming to the consoles now as well with um, World of Tanks. Um, is yeah. coming to... In fact, Joe, I've got an invite to a special thing at uh, London, which you might be interested in. Ooh. A special Ooh. preview event. We'll discuss that later. Um, they free, have free... a. I think it's a, a DC Online on the PlayStation 4 free to play. Uh, it... DC, DCU Online. Yeah, uh, D- DC that. Universe Online. Yeah, I've got that. I've got it, but I'm not a big fan of MMOs. I'm I've... kind of on the fence about it. If any of you play it, like installed and played it. Yes, I, I I've did. Yeah. I've... The, the thing that annoyed me, I don't, I, I, mainly I didn't, I, I wasn't sure if it was possible. I already had a saved on the PC uh, for DC Universe Online. Right. When I okay. installed it on a PlayStation, it doesn't. Uh, can't use the same one, so I have to start adding one all over again. That's pretty bad going. You'd think, I mean, multi platforms, I mean, the new football manager is multi platform across the PC and Vita as well. Yeah. Um, so it is possible to do, so I don't it's, know why they're not doing it. It was like good that. to see that Final Fantasy XIV uh, Realm Reborn was uh, multi platform. Um, I, I, I mean, it was, it was so easy for me to be playing it on PS3 for a few months. And then switch to my PC and be exactly where I was before and have nothing changed. That's the way games should be, though. I would like to yeah. see more multi-platform games because I think a lot of people do own multi-consoles now. And, yeah. And, and they're taking away money from themselves. But especially PC to PlayStation and uh, Mike, you know, the Xbox. Like Titanfall comes out for the PC as well. It'd be nice to think that it would link, link quite a lot with. The PC looks and great. It does look very good. I'm very. I'm hoping that is as good as it looks. That's um, a reason I bought the Xbox One. Yeah, for that game, I think. That's the main what reason. Was. Yeah, I think. So have we good. have we talked about what game we're looking forward to most this year? Yeah, the, right. This is Amy's doing a feature on this at the moment. I think some members of the team maybe haven't sent anything in. Yeah, uh, I'm just waiting. I'm just some waiting. Members. For Tony some and members and Sean. So I don't know who they might be. Um, but yeah, if you haven't sent it in. <laughs> Basically, game of the, you know, the games we're looking forward to. There's a lot coming out this year. There's a lot of next generation titles. Um, so I'm not going to pick on Amy first this time, actually. Um, how about Marcus? How do you? What game are you looking forward to this year? Uh, there's too many to the list. <laughs> this one that you're looking for the most, if it does come out this year, Marcus. Freaked out about that. Uh, Destiny. Destiny. That's not the one. That's not the one you went ballistic for. It's not the one, but it's the one I am quite excited for now to see what Bungie's going to do. It looks incredible. I hope to God the multiplayer is borderline like Halo 2 and 3 back in the day. Mm -hmm. Destiny looks like Halo combined with Borderlands. (laughs) And being an MMO as well, because it looks like it's just basically massively multiplayer. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks um, massively multiplayer, and you've got um, like the the old Warcraft technology of people phasing in and out, which uh, which cuts down like you don't have a hundred players on screen at once, but then some will just turn up out of nowhere, and they'd be like, oh yeah. wow, there are more players in this game. It it looks incredible, Destiny. Defiance was like played Defiance. I played, uh-huh. played Defiance and and very quickly threw it across the room. Did you watch the I, I didn't show? do that because I, I got it online, but I quickly I well. deleted it. <laughs> and I still watched the show. I enjoyed the first season. I deleted that from my PlayStation 3. I thought it was I was punishing <laughs> my PS3 <laughs> for something awful that I didn't do, so I just deleted it. Deleted it before you had a trophy. That way no one knows you played it. Exactly. May I just point out, I, just point out I pre-ordered Destiny at Eurogamer because I was a bit on the fence. Really? I didn't know whether to... Oh. Marcus, you were with Marcus was with me actually, and I got a free T-shirt for pre-ordering. Yay! Oh, so that's, your favorite game. that's a reason we pre-ordered it. To be honest, we wanted the free shit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe a bit. <laughs> it's. Oh. Um, I think Destiny could be. It's a game I've sort of overlooked a little bit, but I think it would hopefully set the, ex- the next generation it, apart from. It's a birthday present for myself as well. It's around my near my twenty-fifth birthday. What date does it come out? Um, the uh, 9th of September, I think. 
9th of September. Oh, right. Something oh, somewhere on. around there. Yeah, I think you're right. I seem to remember September. Bungie yeah. love their September releases. Well, I'm keeping on top of the um, release date, so I'm presuming so. Yes, we do have release dates on our website, uh, shameless plug, um, on Game Perspective. <laughs> yeah, I've got, um, I don't think we have to put next month's website when it's our website's podcast. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe a little bit of advertising for the website might have helped at some point. Um <laughs> on the website as well. Um yeah, we do have the update list on there and I think it's I think it is around about September, we'll check that out. It's um, September nine. nine. I know just, because... Yeah, just going back onto that. Yes, it is yeah. nine for September. I've and that was by it. checking the game perspective uh, yes. So just imagine how informative you could be to your friends if you checked it out as well. Uh, I know, I know this is number nine, and I'm not gonna forget that because that's my little brother's birthday, and he then, is very happy and excited that it's coming out that day. He is very happy and excited that on his Mine birthday you would just be sat there playing Destiny. <laughs> Mine is two days later, a 9/11. Yay! <laughs> and the rating of the podcast goes up once again. Yes. Oh, anyway. I sort of went down by that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the age rating. <laughs> Right, Joe, what are you looking forward to on the... Uh, it's got to be in the second sun. There's not even a shadow of a doubt about it. I'm so looking forward to that game. I I love the first Infamous, and then I played the second one, and I just... I love that so much more than the first one. And this one just looks like everything I wanted from the uh, the previous games. Is it bad that I never been into that series? Yeah, it's terrible, you and you're a horrible person. <laughs> I, I, I played a little bit of the first one, and, and I did like enjoy the story. It just the gameplay kind of put me away. Second, the gameplay no, of the no, second one is better than the first. It's a brilliant, brilliant series. It's one honestly, it's one of the games that actually really got me into the PlayStation Three. Just yeah. not just because it's an exclusive. Well, to show you yeah. how how looking forward to I am for this game, it's gonna be. The day the day I buy my PS4 is the day I buy Infamous Second Son. Could we actually, Tony? Could we actually yeah. play? Could we play the trailer for that? The guess the... what? We almost could. Um, let's see. I'm not really looking forward to it though. <laughs> I'm buying it because you're the trailer. Uh, but I will. I will play the trailer. Do you want the A3 gameplay of the trailer, or do I want? Yeah, we'll put the two. Yeah. We'll put this one on two minutes, two seconds. So just in case no one's watching it and someone's watching on the podcast, um, listening on the podcast. Different new Tom's a tank engine killing lots of people. Uh, <laughs> so I can't offer you that sort of excitement again, unfortunately. That mod is uh, fantastic. I'm sorry, you just cannot beat it. You can't. And I remember seeing the trailer last time, so hopefully it should be playing. Remember, this is going to mute you, most of you. If, if you, tap, you need to tab over to YouTube on the left hand yeah, side. Yeah, on the YouTube on the left hand side for us in here. And I'm going to play this now. Hopefully, it's not bad, and it is what I'm hoping it is. Um, he has Infamous Second Son E3 trailer PS4. I hope you enjoy. Two minutes long.
<laughs> and there we go. That was um. Uh, the infamous yeah, second. there we go. We're back. <laughs> did, ev did everyone enjoy that game ahead. there? Um, I did. Yes, so that's what uh, Joe's looking forward so, to. So, so um, are you now looking forward to that as well, Tony? No. Um, <laughs> right, I, 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 I can join you in that, Tony. They, they can Thank stay you. with the infamous. No, I, I, I sort of liked infamous, sort of. I sort of liked it. I, I can't I can't say much more than that. It was it was no right game. Um, I mean, it's one of those I know it's a great game just because uh, I'm not really into it much like Skyrim. I don't really like the game, but I still think it's a great game. Yeah. I'm sorry, right. but I just love the comic the comic book feel to it. You know, and you've got the chance to be good or evil. I mean, they're very very thingy about that. They're very tight about your choices was, and the consequences. Because, they don't, because no other game does then. Yeah. No, I'm. I mean it. They are very, very. Well, I mean, very, like very few that. games do that well. I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that's a different thing. Yeah. Um, right. Who wants to go well. next on the game of the year? Well, game looking forward to even. Marcus, he's been kind of quiet. I've already said, mate. Yeah, Mark's already been there. Amy. Uh, right. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We'll not skip you again. Who? Uh, me. Either one of you is. Both at the well, same time. Why not? Yeah. One, two. <laughs> go ahead, Amy. Oh, you're too kind, ladies first. Anyway, yes, baby. Um, I'm gonna say strike, what. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, do you mind? I, I do actually. <laughs> you're interrupting this brilliant, brilliant moment that could change my life. Um, the game I'm looking forward to is Watch Dogs, actually, and I think people will share the pain and embarrassment that. The game was delayed. Lost it. Yeah, yeah. And, and frustration because the reason I pre-ordered my PS4 <laughs> to get it on day one was to play Watch Dogs, <laughs> and then one month before uh, the the PS4 is coming out, we find out no, we're pushing it back to 2014. Like I already pre-ordered the yeah. console. Yeah. No one buying it what, for no reason. Do you know what? We, Marcus and I, at Eurogamer, we actually watched the demo and. To be honest, the demo was pretty impressive, but um, I remember the staff saying um, they're, they're fixing the demo at the moment, there are a few bugs, and we'll try to get it up in the next few weeks, and I thought to myself, well, we're, in the mid we're near the end of September, it's supposed to come out in November, I thought, this game's not going to come out this year, if, if it's yeah. talking like that. I mean, that. If, 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 if it does improve the game, I think it's a good idea, that yes. if the game is just, not just ready, like you, you bring it back, five. what, the problem is that they waited for like a month Long. before the game. Yeah, it's too... Mm. Mm. If it was PC, it would have been just mm. broken and uh, made a paper. Um, yeah, you know it was... Well, I don't mind. If, if if they do like a GTA 5 where it was supposed to be out in the summer and they yeah. delayed it, mm -hmm. if it's like that, I will not mind. But, you know, that was just way too close to release to say, right, we're delaying it. it yeah, was think... really, that was a really mm. bad PR move. A so, last minute decision. Really bad. Mm. I usually don't mind about game delays, uh, except in some circumstances. I mean, the Final Fantasy four, uh, 13 Versus, which is now known as Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 15. 15 to the rest of it. <laughs> yes. Um, but... That game, the trailer for that game, along with Final Fantasy 13, came out prior to the release of the PS3. And Final Fantasy 13 Versus was the reason I bought a PS3. Now. Mm. We're in the, the 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 stage of the PS4, and that game has still not come out. You know, we had that conversation on TLS where a lot of people mentioned that that the reason they bought a PS3 but was for Versus and, and for the Last Guardian, which it was also also not out. <laughs> I bought the PS3 for Mag. Oh, I, I love oh. Mag. I put it out there. That's why I bought my PS3. Was I'd, I I still put it out there, but I love Mag. And was it? I never got a chance to play it because unfortunately I got so disillusioned with the PS3 by the time it came around, it'd gone. Um, if you, if yeah, you put that's some why time I... into it, it became a very enjoyable game. Oh, that's good. I think it promised a lot, and mm. by the sounds of it, didn't deliver too much. Um, but I would say because we've been going about an hour and a half now, so we'll start to wrap it up. Um, I say the game I'm most looking forward to. I'd probably side on Titanfall, which is out pretty soon, um, as the first proper next. Next yeah. gen title. Uh, Destiny looks amazing. 
Yeah. Um, I can't deny that. I think Definitely that's a good the second, a close second for me. Yeah, yeah. and um, I think I can't remember the exact title, but it's made by the guys who made Elite that's coming out on the PC. Uh, Star Citizen, I think it's called. And oh yeah, yeah. That looks amazing. I know it's probably going to be a massive letdown and stuff, but I'm really yeah. looking forward to that because I think we haven't had a good space simulator game for a long time. The um, Eve. <laughs> Eve. But <laughs> better than Eve. Um, it's Eve's been going out. for such a long time, and it's such one a that you don't have to spend thousands of hours doing because I haven't got that sort of time. Um, ah. I did get X3, the rebirth, which was awful. Um, and I'm currently got Air, I got Airport Simulator the other day, which is pretty bad. Um, <laughs> that was not realistic. about bad games we bought. On is that as bad as Farming Simulator? That isn't did any my the farm simulator actually asks you to plow a field, but you actually have to plow the whole field, not just a little bit, the whole field. <laughs> um, so I spent five minutes plowing this stupid field, got bored, and I still doing about a quarter of it. Um, you've got to raise the I, I can't even go on for it. It, it. Not as bad as airport simulator though, where you have to drive every vehicle to the aircraft, um, and the proper timing so it actually takes forty minutes to refuel an airplane. It takes 20 minutes to clean it and you can't speed it up. incredibly surprised by the amount of simulators that have been launched recently. SimCity like 5 is the game I need. I need it in my life. What Sim game? SimCity 5. SimCity, I've got SimCity, the online version on my PC. Um, I need that game. It's On the PC, it was broke when it first came out. I actually got Dead Space 3 for free because of how bad it was. Um, <laughs> but we could, set up, we could have a game perspective community. Um, because you can't play online. So it's mm-hmm. actually going offline soon, uh, which is quite interesting. That's good. Yeah. That's what people yeah. wanted a year ago when it came out. Yeah, well, <laughs> game got announced online only. No! <laughs> it's typical backtrack, and I think people are starting to realise, like Microsoft, that purely online gaming isn't going to work. Mm, uh, definitely. The DRM, the bad thing. When, did you, when do you think Xbox realised the messed up though? Was it E3 when Sony had their conference? Or before it, that? Yeah, it was at E3 when yes. Sony rubbed their face in it. <laughs> I mean, they, it was complete. Like, they were going at it and at it and had it at them. It, it was awesome to watch and it must have been really embarrassing for Microsoft. It's definitely one of the most entertaining parts of last year is watching the E3 conference. Jack Tretton's fears. Because e, e, E3 hadn't really been all that interesting in recent years and last year they really. Yeah. Really, it's never worth happened. watching. I mean, Marcus, Marcus was over the moon. <laughs> like, he was the happiest person. It, it was so funny because since it was running really late, the Sony conference, well, the, late for you guys up in England. Yeah, it was quite late. He, yeah. had, he had to be really quiet even though he was di- dying to, to scream. <laughs> <laughs> He's, um, I actually didn't watch the Microsoft E3 conference because I was actually so set on getting a PlayStation. Yeah. That point. So I wasn't interested in the Xbox launch. Um, One thing that Microsoft yeah. showed that, that actually interests me was Project Spark. Which yes. Yeah. I still I am interested. In as of that. Because I think was... the one for the PlayStation, what's it called, Knack or something? <laughs> oh no, God, uh, Knack. Knack. Yeah. yeah. Classical um, so game. It's, it's nice I mean, to see Xbox. Step yeah. It was kind of an interesting conference because they were basically doing uh, everything that they didn't do in their uh, reveal like in, in the reveal conference on the expo they didn't f- basically if it wasn't uh, Call of Duty they didn't mention any games so basically the, the conference was games 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 and mentioned as little as possible anything involving television so it was one mention <laughs> and 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 then there was two really yeah there was there was two really weird things like uh, the uh, Metal Gear Gear Solid trailer for yes, the Xbox I, I was I thought that was really weird because yeah. they've been more uh, Sony PlayStation and then the Sunset Overdrive game which also the company is usually with Sony and and I got <laughs> to this uh, theory that they just uh, the the people were walking. Uh, through the building, and Microsoft, Microsoft just kidnapped them and forced them <laughs> to make the conference for Microsoft. Because it, was, it was so random. Um, they both look very good games, though, uh, to be fair. Yeah. And yeah. I think from that point, um, that's when they're doing all the DRM, and I think that's when they realized that people wouldn't stand for it. And then I think some of the ideas were brilliant family share and all that. I think it could have worked brilliantly, but they're the back down. And that's why this console is possibly not worth £100 more on the PlayStation. Because it doesn't do anything differently. Um, 
I agree. I think they tried to to do a lot of things, but yes, they just did. didn't focus on one. And it's still a gaming console on yeah. that being the main focus. And the good thing, just want to do a lot of things at once. And when you you gotta have to focus on something that is actually good. I think that's a fair point. I think uh, mm. that's why they called it the one. And I think the PlayStation focuses on doing gaming well. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were Whereas very the Xbox focused about gaming. On doing everything okay, um, and I think I just hope it does pick up because uh, uh, you know it's a lot of money to spend on the console. I'll be paying that and, off for the next year. Um, and also, yeah. when when you have the consoles like being neck to neck with each other, you see them trying a lot better to give you actually a good product. Because yeah. then, if they don't, then the other company's going to take over. So competition brings up... Yeah, uh, that's, that's what I was going to say. I just hope the competition like remains over the next few years or the life of both the consoles and you know keeps them, keeps them on their toes. I mean, yeah. speaking of Xbox, rumour has it that they're making a new console, Xbox One, with a terabyte hard drive but no disk drive. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I, yeah, I cannot say that catching on because I know many... Many gamers oh. still like the disc-based games. I, I yeah, think I think gonna make it alienate a lot of people with that. Six months ago, it. I would have completely agreed that that wouldn't catch on, and that I wouldn't even go near that thing. But having spent the last hmm, three months on Steam, like buying games, I have a computer that doesn't have a disc drive. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I think it's gonna well, it's gonna like it be a good thing for people that like you play a lot of Steam, but people I, that everything I play now, everything I download now, it, it, it's completely digital. Yes. If I play a game now, it's because I received, received it digitally. So, if I had an Xbox One, or if if I had the option of this one or that one, I would probably go for the one terabyte digital only one. See, but the thing with that is. It just limited it like one terabyte with your, um, your PC. You can upgrade and get external hard drives, stuff like that. With yeah. that one terabyte hard drive and say the Xbox One, you yeah. stuck with that, and you can. That's going to fill up no problem with the um, size of the games these days. I, I mean, I have a very, very limited um, uh, memory space on my SSD and my computer, but like I get around that by just cycling my games. Yeah. So and deleting them off. I have a. Exactly. I have a terabyte hard drive, and mine's got about 800 gig on at the moment of games. Um, yeah, I mean, when I finished playing Devil May Cry, I just uninstalled it and then installed yeah. Assassin's Creed in its place. That's exactly what I do. I think me and George should just have a PC uh, podcast one day. I can sense a really, I can sense a really great romance coming here. I yeah, think we could discuss every uh, single did game. Did you feel part. threatened, Amy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, slowly. Oh, no, but she, she has <laughs> me. Yeah, Mark's all left out now. Um, no, I'm not slowly becoming a PC gamer, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've got Steam. I've got Dota 2. I might yeah. be a PC was... gamer one day, though. I, I am going to get a gaming PC, but... You know. I've installed I'm... Dota 2 now, so... Yeah. I mean, I, I, I do have kind of a game PC that I built to be be able to play games. But it, yeah. it just... I, I, first of all, I need a controller because I just hate using the mouse. It just doesn't oh, work for me. Okay. And I, yeah. I've got <laughs> uh, I just, controller. I'm just so console based and yeah. what I do try to play PC games it's just I know it's great but it just doesn't really fit for me yet. Yeah I got an Xbox 360 PC controller and I use that quite a lot. For... I'm just too used to consoles I cannot. Yeah. I, 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 I try using the, the, the 360 because well I don't have a 360 technically is my little brothers and you'll eventually get an Xbox One and I'll be able to play that too but I tried using the, the Xbox controller on my PC and it just it doesn't work. They, they, apparently, they don't get along with each other. Oh, that's unusual. Mine works pretty. Good. I've got like a special PC one that I think I bought separately. Um, however, it does work in the Xbox 360 as well. Um, but yeah, it's good for like racing games and stuff because they don't work on PC very well with mouse and keyboard. And... I I would want the the one from the Bob's uh, new Steam machine. Yes. I saw Steam. their controller and it looks beautiful. And and I would buy, I wouldn't buy the box. I just Buy mm-hmm. the controller and use that because it looks amazing. The control looks very unique as well, the way it tracks um, their future releases. I, I think mm-hmm. the price is ridiculous, but the controller and the system itself is a good idea. Steam is brilliant. I don't like digital downloading, but 256 I, games on here. I love digital downloading. I can really? install any one of these games anytime I want. I, I like having my library of games. I like having being able to look at them as a list. Yes. And whether one's downloaded or uninstalled or whatever, I have access to all of them. Like Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Right now, currently not installed on my hard drive. 
they could click that, install it, and you know, be playing it by um, the evening. Yeah. Um, unless you've got my broadband, I'll be playing it by next week. Cause my, mine is exceptionally good, I, I will say. Mine's the opposite, it's definitely good. Uh, awful. Um, I get about <laughs> one megabyte downloads on Steam, uh, which takes ages. Right, um, I think, unless anyone has anything to comment with... Um, I still hour. haven't turned my game. Oh, we keep my game. <laughs> <laughs> we keep forgetting about this. <laughs> make it quick, make it quick. keep forgetting about the American. Go on then, watch yours. Okay, <laughs> my <laughs> game, Amy knows this really well. Even yeah. if I didn't say it to her, she would know what the game it is, and oh, she yeah. approves of it, of course. Um, is the Dragon Age Inquisition. Ooh, yeah. I, it's yeah. been four years since the Dragon Age Origins came out, and you can ask Amy or Marco, especially Amy, I still mm-hmm. uh, I still play it all the time. It's, it's my favorite game. I just, I love it so she much. Has. She has over 16 playthroughs, everyone. That's wow. a lot. I have 17 on Mass Effect 2. It's, it's, it's all this is not in that. I, I, I can probably play it blindly. I can. The other day, um, someone was starting a new playthrough, and I was repeating the lines, <laughs> especially more against word for word. I just I, <laughs> and because Dragon Age 2 was a disappointment, I just you. need a, 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 a great Dragon Age game. And when the trailer came came in E3, first of all, I almost cried when when it said uh, the fall of 2014. And it's so far ahead. The uh, I know that the, that having a lot of time to make the game, so I'm gonna make the game a lot better. And I fully agree with it. But it's just the waiting that's gonna kill me. And they keep showing stuff, and I it, it's just they're bringing up Morrigan, who's my absolute favorite character. The gameplay looks a lot, a lot better from Dragon Age Two. Uh, the story looks a lot better. And the other thing, because of the situation with Mass Effect 3, they seem to be now really putting more effort into your decisions that you make in the games actually being important and actually mattering in the end. You have a lot of groveling to make up for Dragon Age 2 because that was a huge disappointment. I I will say I really liked Dragon Age 2. Uh, It's a good game because I think it's a good game. It's just it's not following Dragon Age origin. It was um, such a fantastic I, game. Well, I mean, I had to. I had both games, and I never really liked Origins. I, I didn't either, Joe. I agree with I, did, you. I thought the combat was so. It was so slow. Uh, yeah. it was, but it was did you play it on the console or the PC? PC. I played it on the console. Oh. Uh, the, then you should try it on the PC. I played it, I played it on PS3. Uh, this is a while ago now. And then I played Dragon Age 2 on PS3 when that came out, because I thought, even though I didn't like the first game, I was going to give it a chance because it was Bioware, and I trust Bioware. Yes. And and the the combat was like the combat was made so much better that even ignoring the story, I it was it was thoroughly enjoyable. A lot of people d- disagree with that. I I don't necessarily agree or disagree with it because I think Dragon Age Origins was made more for consoles and they have a, a more tactical gameplay. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Age Two uh, and the, with Dragon Age Origins they just dumb it out. The console version, it's just like, just push a button and that's it, and it's not really all that interesting. But I think the story and the characters and uh, the world, it kind of makes up for it. The Dragon Age 2, they decided to, it improves on the on the console game uh, gameplay of the first one, but it dummies out the PC version, and I got a lot of people that play the game on, on the PC angry because you're basically just go, going to pushing buttons and you don't have the tactical thing that you had in Dragon Age Origins. Which a lot of PC uh, players were angry about that. I just I, I don't know they, they they wanted to please everyone, and and they ended up basically pleasing no one. It's it, I I really did enjoy the game. It's just as a sequel to Dragon Age Origins, it just didn't manage to like be anywhere near Dragon Age Origins. It's still a good game, especially if, uh, the fact that uh, EA just pushed Bioware to make the game in less than a year, and. With 11 months to make a video game, and it's still a, quite a decent video game, I just wonder if they actually had any real time to make the game, how it could have actually been a great game, because the uh, the plot is actually something interesting. It's different from what you usually see in a Bioware game, but you, they didn't really have a lot of time to really uh, make that into actually something good. 
but now people. with Dragon Age Inquisition, they have a lot of time. They and they seem to be really taking into the the, the fans, uh, the feedback and the things they have been doing wrong lately in Bioware, and they, they really need for Dragon Age Inquisition to be a great game because it's just been uh, one misstep after the other in recent years with Dragon Age 2, uh, The Old Republic, which wasn't, it's not a bad MMO, but what people really wanted was an actual sequel to Knights of The Old Republic. And then there's, there's the thing with Mass Effect 3, so they really need that game to be good. And I just love the series and, and I want to play another great Dragon Age game. And I yeah. want to have Morrigan back. Because I, I just love I, her I'd character. I'd really like to play a new Dragon Age game. I, yeah. I'm just looking forward to it. I hope it delivers. I hope so too. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got Origins on on here, and uh, I can't remember playing too much of it, but the new one did look quite good, so I hope it does live up to it a little bit. Um, I think games have to be good now, because I think people are a bit more careful with what they're buying. Yeah. And, 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 they, have, yeah. and, they, and they have the Wisher like competing against them, so yeah. I hope that competition uh, brings out again, like with the console, the, 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 the both of those series give you one great game after the other because they're competing with each other. You need a bit of played the Witcher. I've played Witcher two, I think. Is it Assassin's Assassins of the Kings or something? Yeah. Uh, I think something be, like that. It'll be on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, another game. Yeah, yeah, The Witcher 2, Assassins of the Kings. Um, see, that's what's great about Steam. I'm going to see that. Um, How many hours yeah, do you have logged in it? Um, on that, I only have 48 minutes. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, pretty, it? <laughs> that's pretty bad. It was, it was great. Um, all 48 minutes of it. I do like the way it does tell you. Um, anyway, we're not talking about Steam again. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I am going to wrap it up there because we've been an hour and a half now. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope uh, you've sort of enjoyed doing it. Oh, uh, yes, we did. We did very much. And I know we've probably went off track quite a few times when I'm covered half the stuff we're going to. But, um, yeah, just come and join us on www.gameperspective.com or .net. Um, We've got this on YouTube, and we'll be doing future podcasts and possibly streaming from Twitch in the future as well. Yeah, we are. So. Yeah, we are yeah. doing that. Okay, yes. Amy yeah. is and Mark is. Um, what we'll do so is we'll make sure we stream that Dota match. That I yes, find we will really have fun. more info about that in the future. That will be coming up. You can follow us on Twitter on at Gameperspective as well. So that's goodbye from me, and I'm sure it's all goodbye from them as well. That's bye. it. Come on, come on Twitter. Bye. 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 Bye